Hey, how's it going, Nostalgia? This is Ryan from the Nostalgia Factor here, back again with another gaming interview for you, Nostalgics, for today. Today's interviewee is Baytown Cowboy 85 a really cool guy that I've talked with quite a bit on Facebook, and he generally seems like an amazing dude, as you guys are going to see from the beginning parts of his video. Um, I just want to say, dude, thank you so much for being on the channel. It's really appreciative, honestly, and um, honestly, I hope things continue going well for you, my dude, and yeah, overall, just thanks for being here. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the interview. If you guys want to go check out his channel for yourselves, which I do highly recommend. He does a lot of shooter content over there, like Call of Duty, Battlefield, that kind of thing. And various other videos. So if you guys are interested in what he does over there, check out his channel in the description down below. And show him some much needed support. With all that in mind, Nostalgics, let's get straight into his interview. How's it going? My name is Baytown Cowboy 85 and I'm a content creator on YouTube that specializes in first-person shooter third-person shooter, military, or war-based games. I want to take this moment to thank the Nostalgia Factor for allowing me to share my story. I started my YouTube channel back in 2011, and I lost my mom to cancer in 2011 as well. And I battled cancer myself in 2014. I battle a struggle every day to continue my passion as a creator on YouTube and I let nothing stand in my way. Those of you that have been around my channel for quite a while, you know this. You know what type of person I am, you know where I've been, and you know what I go through. Some of you are really close to me and, and you know who I am and what I'm about. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the questions that uh, the Nostalgia Factor has for me. So what was the first game you've ever played? to be Super Mario Brothers on the very first Nintendo ever released. You know, that big gray box that, um, you know, if the game wouldn't load, you'd have to pull it out, blow the cartridge, slap it around a little bit, and then stick it back in there and then it'd work. Yeah, that was the one. What got you into playing or collecting video games? My answer for this one is I really don't know. I guess I have always been a gamer at heart. I mean, that's true facts. My mom is to blame, though. She got me hooked on Super Mario Brothers, and I've been playing video games ever since. You know, believe it or not, my mom, she has always been a big part of my life. Um, you know, losing her was pretty hard. I mean... We were just, you know, that close. We were really that close. And my mom has always been into video games, whether it was on a game system or on the computer. You know, she was always playing some type of game or even on her phone. What would you say has been a memorable moment for you in gaming? All right, so this is a tough one. I, I, I really had to think about this, you know, because I've had so many memorable moments in video games. And... Um, it was tough to say, but for this one, I went with, if I had to choose, I guess I would have to say defeating Revolver Ocelot in Metal Gear Solid. Dude, I used to stay up late, late, late into the night playing Metal Gear Solid, and this was on the PlayStation, and um, it was just a fun game all around. For those of you that might have played it, I mean, you know... Um, the old school Metal Gear Solid was just the best. What's one game that you found disappointing? Not necessarily a bad game, but just one that you personally found disappointing. This one, I would have to say Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was a huge letdown for me. I've been playing Call of Duty since the first game came out on PC back in 2003, and I collect every game. I paid around $200 for the Pro Edition Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And I honestly felt like I was robbed. I, 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 I didn't receive nowhere near the content that I should have felt like I should have received, and I just feel like the game really wasn't that good. So when it comes to the most disappointing game, it's going to have to be Call of Duty Black Ops Four. Sadly, because I do Call of Duty mainly. What would you say is an all-time favorite game of yours? I mean, this is another hard question, but I'd have to say the Call of Duty series. Now, I do like Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 series, or, well, Sniper Ghost Warrior series and the Sniper Elite series. I, I do like those quite a bit. 
What style of game, like shooters or RPGs, would you consider your favorite genre of game to play? So, honestly, my my most favorite style of game to play is first person, third person, military, war based games. Anything that involves weaponry, um, war, military, anything like that, that's what I like to play. And if you come to my channel, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see Call of Duty. Um, Gears of War, Battlefield, Warframe, Warfront, all that stuff. You'll see it all of it. What's some favorite video game music of yours, such as a certain track from a certain game, or just an overall theme? I have to say, now, now normally I keep the music off. I don't ever have music on, but the one I really do like is um, Battlefield 5's music. It's 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 really nice. I didn't turn it off. And Skyrim, I I keep Skyrim music on as well. Those are the only two that I've ever left music on. Anything else, I normally turn the music off. What's one game that you would have remade or remastered if you could? Now this is a subject I I'm kind of tough on. Honestly, I don't really agree with remastering games at all. Though the Elder Scrolls VI Skyrim was amazing and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered was a huge letdown. But if I had to choose, I'd have to say Fable 2. Fable 2 was just an amazing game and I couldn't quit playing it. Still to this day, if I could hop on and play Fable 2 on the Xbox One, y'all would probably be seeing a lot of gameplay from that because... I mean, that's just game is just amazing. Anyways, for those of you watching on the Nostalgia Factor channel, my name's Baytown Cowboy 85, as you can see here. Um, I'm a YouTube gaming channel, and Nostalgia Factor reached out and said that he's going to be doing an interview, and I said, why not? Um, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button on his channel, man. Help this brother out. Drop a like and a comment in the comment section below of his video. Also, for those of you on my channel, a description to his YouTube channel, a link <laughs> to his YouTube channel will be in the description below. That way y'all can go by, check him out, leave some likes and some comments. Show some love on his content, man. Baytown Cowboy 85 over and out. And that's going to do it for today's video of Nostalgics. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gaming interview. Baytown Cowboy 85 uh, thank you for being on the channel my man. It's really great talking with you. It was really great having you on. Really amazing doing this interview with you. If you guys want to go support him, which again I do highly recommend go and check out his channel. Link in the description down below. See what he has to offer and if you are interested in what he does give him a subscribe. It would help him out and honestly it would be good to support another creator in the community. But with all that in mind, Nostalgics, once again, thank you for watching today's interview. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a big old like and subscribe to the channel if you are new to catch our future gaming videos coming your way as always. And comment down below what you thought of today's interview. With all that in mind, Nostalgics, this has been Ryan from the Nostalgia Factor saying, keep on gaming.